Moving on to other stories now, hopes are high that Chinese President Xi Jinping securing his second term could accelerate efforts to thaw tension between Seoul and Beijing. Already some Chinese travel agencies are reportedly resuming group tour packages to South Korea, possible signs of ending Beijing's unofficial travel ban. Yu jun give us the updates. In its first press briefing following the end of China's 19th Communist Party Congress, China's foreign ministry expressed hopes of restoring friendly ties with South Korea. Ministry spokesperson Gang Shuang said Beijing wanted to work out its differences with Seoul, adding that bilateral relations have brought many tangible economic and trade benefits to both countries. We are willing to work with South Korea to overcome the obstacles in the development of bilateral ties, resume friendly exchanges in all fields step by step, and push forward with a steady and sound China-South Korea relationship. These comments and other recent developments have indicated that South Korea and China are looking to bury the hatchet over Seoul's deployment of a U.S. THAAD anti-missile battery. On Tuesday, the two countries' defense ministers held talks on the sidelines of the ASEAN Security Forum, the first such meeting in two years. The neighbors also renewed a $56 billion currency swap deal earlier this month, while discussions are also underway for a possible summit meeting between Presidents Moon Jae-in and Xi Jinping. Beijing's unofficial travel ban to South Korea may also be coming to an end, with reports emerging that Chinese travel agencies are resuming the sale of group tour packages to the country. The new advertisements promoting travel to South Korea are the first of their kind seen in seven months when Beijing began engaging in economic reprisals in protest of Seoul's THAAD deployment. South Korea's tourism industry had suffered a heavy blow over the fallout of the number of Chinese tourists plunging by more than half between March and August of this year. Yoo Joon-hee, Arirang News.